What time is it? It's time for the West Highland Way. Me and Sheila are in Milgai, not Milgavin. That's what I said before, but it's pronounced Milgai. We have been upgraded to this rooftop terrace. Look at that, some gorgeous Phillips windows out there. And we've got a great view. So we're stopping one night here in Milgai and then we're starting the West Highland Way tomorrow. Look at the view we've got. So really lucky to get that upgrade. Thank you, Jerry, if you're watching. Uh, so yeah, I just want to thank you guys for following me and my lass this far on the West Island Way, the prepping, the preparation for the West Island Way. And we couldn't have done it without your help and your tips and advice on the gear that we'll need because we're not just walking the West Island Way, we are wild camping every night, hopefully, unless the weather absolutely beats us up. So uh, a little bit more luxury for me and Sheila before we're in the tent for maybe 10 days. Hope you're gonna follow us. Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you're feeling strong. We are feeling strong. Me and Sheila have got to be feeling strong because today is the first day of our West Island Way adventure. We're gonna get on with it because it's looking like it could be rain. So far, so good on the West Island Way. Me and my last doing the whole 96 miles and we are wild camping every night, hopefully. Now we are at the halfway stage of the first day and uh, we are approaching Dremen, Dryman, don't know how you pronounce these uh, place names, but I'll have a go. So we, yeah, we're almost there. We've got uh, about six miles to do, and then we'll be looking for somewhere to pitch the tent. So the bags, how much do the bags weigh? Sheila's bag weighs six kilograms. I did try to keep it as light as possible. Mine is weighing in at a hefty 14 kilograms, and I am feeling it but we're taking it nice and steady. And I've got two walking poles, which I learned how to use thanks to your advice. So a nice easy stage this one, and uh, we will see you in Dremen. I'm going for Dremen, that's what I'm going for. Uh, we'll see you there where we'll be getting something from a shop hopefully, and looking for somewhere to pitch the tent. We have made it to this little pub, and we're having something to eat, fish and chips, absolutely starving. Do you know what? It's been really difficult. This first stage has been far more difficult than I thought. There's my bag. And like I said before, it comes in at 14, 14 kilograms, and that is heavy. So this is gonna be more difficult than I thought, but it is the first day, so maybe I'll get into it. But we are gonna have fish and chips now, and we're gonna enjoy it. And then we've got the tent to pitch up. So I'll see you when we find a place to pitch the tent up. But this is coming to the end of day one. It is six o'clock in the morning. The midges are out. What an evening me and Sheila had. It was an absolute disaster on the first day. Uh, we were looking for somewhere to pitch the tent. We did manage to get something to eat, by the way. Uh, uh, fish and chips, it was absolutely delicious in this restaurant, this pub restaurant. We got fish and chips, it was absolutely gorgeous. Well, you saw that, but uh, after that, it went downhill. We were just uh, on this trail. What happened was I found somewhere to pitch and uh, it was so rocky in underneath. I couldn't even get the pegs in and it was getting late then. Managed to find somewhere eventually here in this field and uh, overlooking Loch Lomond. You can't see it down there, but it is overlooking. Uh, yeah, oh, absolutely terrible evening. But once we got into the tent, we were exhausted. We actually covered, instead of our planned 10 miles per day yesterday, first day we covered 17 miles. Now that might not seem a lot to you youngsters, but for me and Sheila, uh, that is pushing it a little bit. So we're really proud of ourselves that we did the 17 miles and got to this point. So we've got Conic Hill today, just up the hill there, and we'll be on, back on the trail. And uh, I will get back to you when we're at the top of Conic Hill. Got some water to collect uh, before we get there and maybe a little bit of breakfast. But uh, yeah, Conic Hill and then back down and we are then going on to Roanadan, I think it's called. Roanan, Roanandan. <laughs> don't know you know what I mean okay so that's the plan for today but what an absolute nightmare for the first day I don't know that we're going to do this this is day one and we're at, we're falling apart here so let's get the tent packed away that's our pitch for last night and uh, we can hear the stags uh, roaring in the in the distance round Loch Lomond and it sounds absolutely fantastic the stags are, are obviously it's rutting season so we might see some of them we have actually seen one deer already so far away the gopro's not going to get it but really good to see okay let's get packed up and get up conic hill 
Look at the view. Amazing. Me and Sheila have just had some porridge. We've been searching for somewhere to eat all morning on the way up. We managed to pick this little spot. I tell you what, this is hard work. My bag weighs for, I've said this before, haven't I? Do you know how much my bag weighs? 14 kilograms. That is how much it weighs and it is heavy. It was hard going up Conic Hill with that. But amazing what a rest does. The 17 miles that we did yesterday, which was far too much for me and Sheila, um, after a good night's sleep, and we did sleep well, uh, amazing what that does for you. And uh, we're learning all the time. But this is tough. We've been attacked by the midges again, hence the midge net on the flat cap. It's a good look, loving that. Loving that looks great. Uh, but yeah, we have reached the top of Conic Hill and we're going for, of course, the... Uh, the descent now and I've heard that that can be heavy on the knees so we'll take our time with that and we'll see you at the bottom of Conic Hill and uh, hopefully we'll be out of the mist I'll see you down there we are midway through day two and uh, really feeling it I can't believe how difficult this is it's a lot harder than I thought I've got Sheila there behind me we're just taking a little bit of a rest and we're by uh, Craigie Fort I think it's called Craigie Fort, just outside Balmaha, and I've got a fantastic view over Loch Lomond there. And so we're walking along the side of Loch Lomond, and I'm making my way to a little campsite. I booked in at a little campsite to take a rest. We're having a short day today. Yes, already a short day. Reason being, we've fallen a couple of times. Um, coming down Conic Hill, slipped and uh, yesterday slipped. So yeah, it's uh, it's shocked us a little bit uh, falling. So um, we're just gonna recoup at this campsite, hopefully get there, it's about a couple of miles away. We're gonna recoup tonight at this campsite and just figure out whether, <laughs> whether we're gonna actually continue. I can't believe this West Island way is as hard as it is. Maybe not for you seasoned uh, hikers, but I mean, I do a lot of walking, but this is quite difficult. It doesn't look it, does it? It doesn't look... I mean, that is marvellous. That is a fantastic view. But I'm finding it really hard. The weight of the bag, maybe, maybe I've just... 14 kilogram bag. That's hard work going downhill. Uh, so, we're going to see how it goes, uh, get to this campsite. I'll have a word with you at the campsite, see how we feel. We're going to lick our wounds and hopefully carry on. But right now, uh, I could just pack it all in. So, we are here at Miller Rocky Bay. Uh, there's a campsite just over there and we're on day three. Day three, me and Sheila relaxed and had a good sleep at the campsite back there. We're just going for a walk into Balmaha today. So, we have relaxed and it's a gorgeous sunny day today. A good day to have off. We are having the full day off today. We'll be camping at uh, Milaraki again tonight. This trip <laughs> has taken a bit of a turn. I was ready to give up, I'll tell you that. I was ready to give up yesterday. Um, we've had time to think about it and we're going to actually um, move our equipment on using the services that are available here. Um, for the West Island Way. So yeah, as bags are gonna get taken on. So my inexperience is really showing now, can't believe it because I have actually been practicing as you know, but uh, this is absolutely grueling. So um, yeah, the midges, the wasp stings. I got a wasp sting on my shoulder, trapped in between the strap of my bag and uh, little things like that. And also the couple of falls that we've had, the weather, the rain, and uh, it's just it really beat us up a little bit already, only in two days. But I'm sure you understand that we have got a duty of care to each other, me and Sheila, and we have decided to lighten the load. It's been a bit of a nightmare, but a real journey of uh, emotions. <laughs> it's had its ups and downs. We are only on day three. So we've stayed at this campsite uh, for a couple of days just to clear our head, and we have made progress so uh, we are booked in at a few places we're getting the uh, baggage my one heavy bag is being transported on to another location I'm gonna let you know tomorrow 
uh, where we're up to. We're back on the trail tomorrow. Nothing has changed. We've just had a little break and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's back on. Good morning. Well, it's morning for me and Sheila. Sheila's just ahead of me and I can't believe that we are still doing this. We so nearly canceled. So it's day four for us because we had two days at the campsite just there. It's just behind me, we're just leaving it. And we're heading for Rowanaden, Rowanaden. Not sure how you pronounce it, but I know where we're going. That's where we're going. And we're gonna have a cup of coffee there. So we've got about uh, four or five miles before we reach there. We'll have a cup of coffee. And yeah, we're still doing this. The heavy bag is at the campsite now waiting to be picked up and uh, sent on to our next location and i'll tell you more about that location when we're having a coffee at uh, rowanadan rowanadan so we made it to the rowadenan hotel that's behind us there and uh, we've had something to eat beautiful nice place to stop we've been here for about uh, about two hours now we're going to set off and do the last eight miles to uh, to the bunkhouse and uh, I will chat to you when we get to the bunkhouse. Now, on the way out today, it did rain most of the way, uh, most of the seven miles that we trekked to here, uh, it did rain. And we chose to just wear our, uh, our little thin tops that we had and get soaking wet. And we've managed to dry them here at the Roadenon Hotel um, on a nice open fire. So that's worked out really well. So yeah, I'm back to really enjoying it actually. And I can't believe that I'm still doing it because I can tell you I was abandoning it. Sheila talked me around. I was convinced that for safety reasons we should stop doing it. So let's see how far I get. I haven't actually booked into the, the King's House yet. The King's House is a bit of the journey that we haven't sorted out yet, but hopefully just gonna send on the heavy bag as we have decided we're gonna do for the rest of the trip. And, uh, and just travel light. That is the way to do it if you're over 50. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself though that I did carry it uh, that far um, on, the, on the first couple of days, but uh, couldn't do it any longer. Look at the views here. I would be missing this. If I'd given up, I'd be missing this. This is amazing. Just walk down this little uh, like uh, jetty. It's wobbling about a bit, end up falling in. But uh, yeah. Uh, I feel like that guy off Pebble Mill. Can you remember that one? He used to walk on that uh, map. Uh, look at the views. The views are absolutely stunning here. I wasn't expecting this when I took his out the back of the hotel there. Um, yeah, oh, absolutely amazing. I'm so happy I'm still doing this. I really nearly gave up. I nearly gave up. We've fallen a couple of times. Uh, the weather was beating us up, but it was the weight of the bag. The bag was killing me. It was killing me. Uh, yeah, I had to come clean with Sheila and say, yeah, you know, the bag is going to be an issue. Even though I was saying like, well, we've fallen. Uh, the bag was going to be an issue anyway. Had we not even fallen, had I got to this stage, I'd have been broken. So, uh, just thought I would bring you out of the back here and uh, show you this. Oh, amazing. It's tiring. It's really tiring. All that training that I did, I suppose it's done some good, but it feels like it's done nothing. Camping out night after night is, is something else. Uh, and uh, carrying the gear is, is not something I can do. When I watch you guys do it night after night, you guys are tough. So happy to still be doing this. Look at, the, look at the view. So we've dried our tops off in there and uh, I'm gonna get a dry top on now and continue. Got about another, another eight miles to do to the bunkhouse at um, Inversnaid. Inversnaid bunkhouse. Oh, before I go, I've just come back on here with Sheila to show her this fantastic view which as I said I would not be seeing now if it wasn't for Sheila talking me around we did have a bit of a moment didn't we we did have a moment <laughs> a bit of a moment <laughs> but we're back now on the trail as you can see got the backpack on prepared for a bit more rain we've got our tops dried and we are back on the trail so I will see you at the bunkhouse like I say it sounds like there might be a bit of a steep 
climb to the bunkhouse but I'll see you there. Okay we've done a few miles still on our way to the bunkhouse. At this point of the trail we get a choice. I've been worried about this. A lot of your comments on my build up to the West Island Way were saying that if I took the, uh, the bottom route which is this one here, if I go down there I'm asking for trouble with the roots and the, it's heavy going and with us falling already a couple of times and having a bit of a, a bad experience underfoot um, I am going to choose, me and Sheila are going to choose the top route both of them the West Island Way you just get a choice at this point so we're going on the top route it's not, uh, I've been told that it's not any easier it's just less dangerous so I'll see you at the bunkhouse